The latest developments now on convicted killer Aaron Hernandez set to go on trial again early next year. Today, his attorneys tried to get more evidence against him thrown out. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin is live in studio with more. Well, Shannon, Aaron Hernandez was back in court today for another pretrial hearing ahead of his double murder trial in February. He's charged with killing 29-year-old Daniel De Abreu and 28-year-old Sefiro Furtado in a drive-by shooting in Boston in 2012. Hernandez has pleaded not guilty. Today in court, his attorneys worked to have tattoos and text messages forwarded to his former agent barred from the upcoming trial. But prosecutors say both the texts and the tattoos link him to the crime. The defense argues these tattoos are irrelevant and the texts are protected by a attorney client privilege. The texts were sent by Alexander Bradley, who's expected to testify against Hernandez in February. Brian Murphy, Hernandez's former agent, was also on the stand today. He said he told his client to not respond to these texts and let his attorneys handle it. I just got these text messages and I had not, I don't, I have not absorbed them. I did not understand uh, the, the nature behind them or the severity behind them. I just had these text messages that were very uh, atrocious in nature. And so yes, the first step was Mr. Humanick and then if we had to go beyond that, we'd go beyond that. But I did not want Aaron handling it because he's obviously not an attorney. And the judge didn't make a ruling today on this motion. That trial is set to start on February 13th. Hernandez is already serving a life sentence for the murder of Odin Lloyd. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News. More details now as former New England Patriot Aaron Hernandez is back in court ahead of his double murder trial. In court today, prosecutors argued that one of Hernandez's tattoos is a confession to those killings. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggins live in studio now with more. Well, Shannon, Steve Aaron, Aaron Hernandez was back in court today for another pretrial hearing ahead of his double murder trial in February. He's charged with killing 29-year-old Daniel De Abreu and 28-year-old Sefiro Furtado in a drive-by shooting in Boston in 2012. During a pretrial hearing on Tuesday, the topic of text messages and tattoos. Attorneys for the former New England Patriot won both barred from the upcoming trial. Alexander Bradley sent those texts to Aaron Hernandez. The former football star then forwarded them to his agent. Aaron, you don't handle it. Brian Murphy's instruction to his client. I did not understand uh, the, the nature behind them or the severity behind them. I just had these text messages that were very uh, atrocious in nature. Prosecutors say both the text and tattoos link Hernandez to the crime. Prior to February of 2013, Mr. Hernandez had numerous tattoos all over his body, all of which meant something. In early spring of 2013, Hagen says Hernandez got another tattoo. Mr. Hernandez asked the tattoo artist to give him a tattoo, specifically asking for the cylinder of a revolver. That cylinder included one empty chamber, suggesting it had five live rounds, the same number fired during the double murder in 2012. But the defense argues these tattoos are irrelevant, and the texts are protected by attorney-client privilege. The judge did not make a ruling on this motion today. The trial is set to start on February 13th. Hernandez is already serving a life sentence for the murder of Odin Lloyd. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.